Two cool items for your Raspberry Pi. First thing to check out is the North Pata Made in China AC adapter. This is a uh, three amp adapter with the can of kit and all the kits you guys are getting. They're only 2.5 amps. This is three amps. Let's see if it reduces the likelihood of getting that three, that lightning bolt, the under voltage on your Raspberry Pi. By the way, how cool is the uh, is the stencil font? More companies need to use that stencil font. I mean, it's simple, it's easy. The second thing is a USB USB hub. Uh, the Raspberry Pi only has four ports. Uh, a lot of time they're underpowered, especially if you want to run like a hard drive or something like that. This one on the back has a micro SD micro USB adapter. So what I could do is I can run like my cell phone adapter by USB to micro USB and all of a sudden power this hub. So I can either just plug it into my Pi and have an additional four ports or I could plug it into my Pi plus add my own uh, dedicated power source and turn this into a powered hub to give my Pi uh, ports their own uh, power. So pretty cool stuff. It does. It only comes with this. You can, you can get it on sale sometimes for about 10 bucks and it has a nice almost five foot long USB cord as well. So if you want to, you know, have your Pi hidden somewhere and then have this cable coming out somewhere, pretty easy to do. Okay, so in the lower right corner, you see my Nest Pi case. I have the fan on. You can hear it. It's quite loud. We have an Xbox 360 controller and we're on the next level image that I did a review on not too long ago. Let's just go into like uh, 2020 Super Baseball. And... Um, you can see I have no lightning bolt whatsoever. I usually don't have an issue stock with this, but the minute you start adding in more controllers, um, you know, or you're overclocking, you're taking over more power, uh, this thing will, um, you know, start to give you that little lightning bolt in the upper right corner of your screen. All right, cool. So now I'm going to go ahead and unplug my keyboard, my LED uh, mechanical keyboard and I'm gonna plug it into my Pi because this typically makes it go a little bonkers here with the uh, power. There it is. Do you see that? We have a lightning bolt. We had a lightning bolt at first as it booted up and then it turned off, but we were still able to get that lightning bolt on there because at first it was like, ah, this is a lot. This is a lot for me. So now let's go ahead and turn this off and try our brand new power supply, the updated one. So let's go ahead and start select out and I plug it into the Pi. Okay, next test is what if we plug in this hub and then have the key and then put the power to the hub and then plug the keyboard in. Okay, so we got the hub. Let's go ahead and plug the hub in. So now have our hub. Let's go ahead and power our hub. When the hub is not powered and I plug it in, lightning bolt. Okay. I'm now going to unplug it, and if I plug in the power to the hub, so now we have power to the hub, and then now let's grab our keyboard and plug the keyboard in. We get no lightning bolt. We get no lightning bolt when we plug it with the power. What's hilarious about this power supply is that expert installation is 8929. <laughs> so there you guys go. I mean, it was, it was it was a benefit. I never had that lightning bolt issue with the Nest Pi case, but you know, if you're running a lot of stuff or you want a little bit extra power, a 3 amp is going to produce more power than the 2.5 amp PSU. It will work for the Raspberry Pi 3B and B+, and it's fairly inexpensive as well. It's, it's got a nice cord with a power on and off button. And then here is the micro USB hub. I mean, this is great to have around the house, not just for the Pi, but for your computer, no matter what you're going to use it for, extra controllers, some fobs, whether it be Bluetooth, uh, a, a wireless fob, a hard drive, you know, all sorts of things that you can plug into the Pi, a, um, a, a thumb drive with ROMs to transfer ROMs, 
all that kind of stuff. Um, let me know if you guys want to see any other tests or see any other things, but you know, I think these are nice. They're inexpensive and they're nice additions to your Pi. They're going to add some flexibility. They're also going to beef up your build a little bit. Let me know if you guys got any questions. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one.